Listen to this. Regardless of the day relationship ends, it is still better than to marry a dysfunctional person. Oh, I've wasted five years with this guy. God will reward you. And sometimes people know this fellow is wrong. But said, well, we, have, we have, have invested so much. It's better. Some investment should waste. You are not necessarily going to reap where you sow, but you will reap what you sow. Is that okay now? Some investment should... Are you with me? Let somebody else come and reap the harvest. Listen to this. There are people that it will take your intercessors being offended at you to marry them. What did I say? Let me come again. There are people you should not marry unless those who are praying for you are angry with you. And like Uriah, your valiant men have withdrawn. Somebody came to tell me, say, this boy said he liked me. I just asked that a question. I said, I have one question. When you answer the question, come back. Who stopped praying for you? Go and find out. For this to even be something you are thinking about, somebody powerful has withdrawn. And you must know the person. That's the truth. She said, ah, I say it's the truth. So go and find out. Listen to this. Some people are in that condition. You know why? Because they married a low-budget version of their crush. They, they, list, are you with me? These are deep matters. Somebody liked somebody so well, and the person said no, and insisted I will marry somebody that looked like him. Are you aware that it is possible for a couple to be enjoying sex because in the imagination, the fellow has to put another face there to be active towards the partner? Don't let anyone deceive you. If you don't see a connection, hold on till you see it. And when you know that the reason why you are not seeing a connection is either because of fear or certain wrong practices, then pray it out. Get counsel. Get counsel. I want to say it again, and this is very common, but people don't talk about it. Many people are coming for you because you look like who they like that they can't have. And you must find out, both male and female. Somebody say, eh, I, I like my pastor, but he's married. Are you like him? And you now see, they try to re-engineer the guy to be like the pastor. This guy is a, is a funny guy. When he comes anywhere, people laugh. Say, she wants him. When you come, people should actually stand up and say, ah, welcome, sir. And this is not the kind of person. People have married somebody else and try to make the person look like their desire. Marry people for who they are, not what they look like. Who they are. That is what will stand the test of time. That is what we survive seasons. Are you still with me? Are you aware that sex in marriage is only fun when you marry right? If you marry wrongly, sex is emotional rape. Your partner takes the form of your abuser in your mind. In the name that is above all names, you will not miss it. I read one of the books of the subject of marriage. He said there are three equations for a good marriage. He said equation one, angels don't eat jollof rice. What he was simply saying is, if you like, call her my angel, the one that fell from heaven, whichever one. As long as she's eating jollof rice, she's a human being. She's not perfect. She will misbehave. If you like, store his number with archangel. Now you tell your neighbor, are you an angel? Listen to this. Those who marry people for their sex appeal are the first to get tired. Those who marry people for their sex appeal are the first to get tired. It cannot carry you for life. If there's any principal word I'll tell you today, it is to be patient. And let me tell you why. It is possible that God spoke to you about someone that at the point God spoke, the fellow is engaged and God will not say, I did not speak. And you are not going back and say, God, scatter it. That's witchcraft. I was, my spiritual father shared their story. When God told him about mama, she was engaged. She even did introduction. And God did not change what he had said. It was after then that just did one final test and saw that their genotype was not compatible. Sorry, we can't marry this, this, this. this. <laughs> Somebody has been waiting. That was how I married my wife. My wife, Jesus. When God told me that's your wife, I said, God, if this one say I'm not doing it, don't talk to me about marriage again because how can somebody be this fine? Let me tell you something. Oh. My wife is not a dealing like God wants to deal with me so I give you this person. How can your spouse be a dealing from God? God wants to deal with you to teach you how to walk through wilderness of life. But are you aware that there are spouses that are a form of judgment? When you marry this one, you are being judged. <laughs> and it's life imprisonment. Hey. 
the ring should be handcuffs. Like we sentence you, bye bye. I'm still, and I like to give it raw so you can hear what I'm saying. There are many fools who are well dressed. Beware. Don't let pressure make you lose your sense of self worth when you know that you deserve better. Hold on till what God has for you comes.